paid. You're, you're, you're not being paid enough money. You're not this. It goes on every fucking day. And every one of those, every media member that talks about fighter pay is a scumbag who is basically just out there trying to get attention because they literally know nothing about the business or the pay or how any of this shit works. So it's just, it's all part of the game. It's just, that's who they are and that's what they do. And I literally could give a fuck. That's it right there. And so me and Trav were talking about on a previous episode, um, the UFC, the business model, the respect we have for it. And Trav, Trav, what you said about always getting what you were, go, go oh, into that. The, because that oh, was, yeah. The first thing that I said was that you guys always paid me what you said you were going to pay me. And most of the time it was actually more, right? <laughs> So all these people that are complaining about it, that are, that are up and, you know, just talk, we're talking shit about it. At the end of the day, I'm the one that signed that fucking contract. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to bitch about it. Or I'm going to bitch about it to a fucking uh, reporter or something like that. It's like, it, that doesn't make sense to me as a man, right? Like I signed the contract. If I wanted to get paid more and you guys have always been upfront about it. Hey, when you're a free agent, Go find a better deal. You see what I mean? And and like I always felt like I was a part of the UFC when when one of my contracts was up. We had a we had a bigger offer, but I told John I was like, listen, the best fighters are here in the UFC, and I don't. I'm not trying to be a B level fighter. I'm trying to compete against the best. You know what I mean? And and we we stayed with. And you guys have always treated me right. The the pay has been there. And again it's always been at least what the contract was. And most of the time it was more. So these people that are complaining, people that in, in the media that don't fucking hear that, they hear the little bitch that's crying and complaining because you know, you get these like entitled people or I don't know where the fuck it comes from. It's like, they're just whiny little bitches. And then they go to more whiny little bitches that'll write about it. You know what I mean? It's, then it's, you the, get, world oh, we, it's the world we live in today. And it's, it's, it's yeah. heading, even further into that direction. But the thing is with the fight business, the fight business is a, is a game where everybody wants more money. Everybody wants to be paid more. It's never going to end. You know, at the end of the day, what we're talking about here, we're running a business and yeah. there's a reason we've been as successful as we have been, not just in the fact, and, and, and we're not a company that just, you know, how much money we reinvest in the sport to, to, to make the sport bigger and better for everybody, yep. which is what boxing has never done. And that's, one of a million things where they fucked up and um and listen at the end of the day it's all about when, when you run a business it's about knowing who you are who are you and 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 and, and, and what you've done for people uh, you know that other people don't know about so you know i i could none of that shit matters that's why i don't ever defend when people try to talk about you know fighter pay and all this shit you don't ever hear me coming out and going well we did Shut the fuck up. Okay. I, you have no idea what you're talking about. You guys know nothing about this business. And if you do, if you're that fucking smart and, and, and you think you got all the fucking answers, then go out there and compete with me. Yeah. Pay all my fighters more money than I'm paying them. And you build your own fucking business. See how that works. Yeah. yeah put that on the media no, guys that are that out was, there about it. They can't do it. And, and that was one of the things too, that we were, we were talking about. It seems like from the get go, it was always about building the UFC compared to building up the, the single fighter, right? Brand building over fighter, brand, brand over fighter. Right. And, and it's worked and it look at the monstrosity that you've built over the last 20, what, five years. Well, it's unapologetic too. I feel like exactly. I, I, some organizations it, feel like if they admit the brand comes before the fucking fighter, cause the brand is eternal for its existence and fighters come and go and do stupid shit or whatever. It's like, uh, it's almost like something they feel they need to apply. Why fucking apply? Like that, that's a business model. But that is too. When you take the brand, it works both ways. Because what happens is when somebody comes in and they start working their way up in the UFC, the brand builds them up and, and turns them into stars. Then once you have the brand plus Chuck Liddell, the brand plus Matt Hughes, the brand plus Ronda Rousey, the brand plus Conor McGregor, the brand. It's, 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 it's powerful for everybody. It, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a very incredible relationship when, when you have both the brand plus the star. What I'm, what I'm 
thinking about is, you know, uh, not to go backwards, but we always talk and we debate about uh, the drive of entrepreneurs. Do you, are you of the opinion that they are born or they can be made? That's a good question. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, it, I, I believe that it's, it's, it's either in you or it's not. And I think it comes from, I, you know what I always say, you know, you, you said this earlier, which is true. It's like people look back on, on, on people and say, oh, wow, used to be a box aerobics instructor. Well, I was a bellman too. I used to carry people's bags. I also used to pave roads. I used to do paving, which is fucking brutal work. Um, but I, I, I think everybody needs to have jobs like that to find out who you really are. Because first of all, it takes a bunch of shitty jobs to realize, fuck, I don't ever want to do this again. <laughs> I don't want to do this for the rest of my <laughs> life, no matter what it is yeah. that you do, that you find out that you don't like, but you don't know what you don't like until you do it. And then you want to talk about hard work. You don't know what hard work is until you've done hard work. You know, when you work the summer for a paving company, Anybody tells me, oh, I used to work construction. Yeah, what'd you do? I poured concrete. I'm like, this motherfucker knows what hard work is. I used to pave roads. This dude knows what hard work is. I used to, you know, there's jobs out there that, you know, so people are always telling me, wow, you work so hard. You know, you, I'm like, oh. yeah, no, no, I don't. Trust me. There's people out there who work hard. I'm not one of those guys. I just love what I do. You know, I love what I do, which makes it awesome. It's like, it, 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 if your favorite thing in the world is going to the movies, me coming to work every day, it's like you going to the fucking movies. That's that. That's what it's like for me because I love what I do. When you hate what you do and it's hard as shit to do it, like, like, like these construction jobs, every day when you get off work, you feel like you got one foot in the grave. Then you know what hard work is. And when you get into something that you love, you know the difference and you realize it. I don't know. I, I, I think that if you get out there and you start testing the waters and you start realizing I don't like this and this isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, and you realize what hard work really is. I think that, uh, and you have to be a guy, you have to be a guy or girl that, that, um, is willing to get up every day and, and, and have other people rely on you for a paycheck, which is, which is a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on you when you have, you know, hundreds.